Hello, my lovely Virgos. Let's go ahead and get started with your weekly reading. Spirit, please show me what Virgos need to know right now. Spirit, please show me. All right, Virgos, you're between worlds right now, okay? You've got one foot in your old life, one foot in your new life. And yeah, things may seem a little bit dark right now, but you are getting ready to move into the light. So it's like... Um, I think that you're kind of having to sit down and take a, a, like a seat and observe from afar as to what it is that you want your life to look like. You do have the sun moving into Pisces with Jupiter, with Neptune. This is in your seventh house of relationships, partnerships, one-on-ones, BFFs, roommates, people that you spend the most of your one-on-one -on -one time with. With that said, it can bring in relationships that are very spiritually minded. So for a lot of you Virgos, whether you're the spiritual one or you are being brought into the sphere of someone who is, can take you to, and, and, kind of guide you and show you the other side, I feel like you need to pay attention to the relationships that are being brought into your life at this time. Um, between the worlds, that could have also a lot to do with your career and finances, relationships. It could have anything to do with all of those. We got the moon, fleeting funds, unknown source, being guided. Your career, moonlighting, odd jobs, night shift, and part-time. So it can be, like I was saying a minute ago about career, maybe you don't know where your career is headed, Virgo, um, but I do feel like for a lot of you, you could be going through some type of financial issues at this time. Just know that there's some type of a communication, um, there's something here to do with communication when it comes to your finances. Spirit, please show me Virgo's finances. Wow, we got too many, too many cards. Spirit, please show me Virgo's finances. Did that one flip? It did not. Spirit, please show me Virgo's finances. Okay, watch. It's time to profit. Divine timing. Seize the moment. Career is your waiting period, temporary work, and being laid off. Okay, so I did say that... Um, I do feel like it's more about divine timing. You're being brought into another world. We've got book here. So paperwork, contracts, learning as you go. Career could be writing, taking a class, education, or law. Maybe you are educating people um, or you could be dealing with some type of paperwork or contracts. For a lot of you, it's just, you know, you could be doing taxes and that is stressful in itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Virgo vibe. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgos at this time, Spirit? Please show me what do Virgos need to know. I just saw the moon again at the bottom of the deck. So that is twice now that the moon is showing up. We did just have the Vir uh, moon in the 12th house, Virgo. So that is a lot about meditation. It's about kind of standing still, standing back, needing to let go of things from uh, the past. For a lot of you, your childhood could be being brought in. Okay. Um, also, well, that's upside down. Also, you did just get the emperor. So this is you standing in your strength, Virgo. I think that for a lot of you, you're in a very powerful position and you don't even realize it. Or you're being moved into a very powerful position with everything that you've learned. And it's about time, Virgo. Spirit, please show me. What do Virgos need to know moving forward? The challenge is the judgment card. We have, there it is, look at that. We have the moon. So uh, three major arcanas right out the gate. So that is major, major life lessons right now and a lot about the moon too and because you do have the moon here now twice and it did show up three times. So it's saying, I said what I said. Now this is about using your intuition. This is about uh, not knowing what's on the other side. The moon does hide things, but I do feel like you're, in a, you're either you're in a power position, you're a business owner, um, recent past, we've got the sun. Okay. Spirit, please show me. All right. Virgos, two of wands it is on your mind. Spirit, please show me Virgo. Wow. We've got the queen of pentacles here. We also have the five of pentacles, but it showed up in the reverse. So there's something here about needing a reconciliation when it comes to your finances. We've got the page of wands. You're waiting for things to happen. Uh, maybe you're waiting on some type of information and it hasn't come in yet. Uh, in your hopes and fears is the tower. You're afraid of everything crumbling. And we just had one flip. All right. There it is. The outgoing message 
is, get this, we've got the Empress, knowing your value, knowing your worth. This is like the high oct uh, higher octave of the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you are a business owner. For those of you who I am talking to, it's like you are really working on your finances. Your overall energy is the Seven of P uh, Pentacles. Am I going to get my return on my investment? So you are looking out. Maybe you have put something out there on the World Wide Web for a lot of you, or maybe you are searching, okay? But I am seeing the world there, so that's why I got the World Wide Web. We do have the, uh, the Emperor and the Empress here. Um, so this is about the divine masculine, divine feminine side of ourselves, the yin, the yang. We do have Venus and Mars walking side by side in Capricorn. So whatever it is that you are putting your energies and your efforts into it is a grounded effort. We have the queen of pentacles. This is about staying grounded in your efforts. Okay. I do feel like for a lot of you, you could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn or Taurus could be a Libra Aries or a Leo. Okay. Um, we've got cancer Pisces here and Scorpio. So those are the energies that you could be working with. We do have two number threes here. So that does tell me that there is some type of, uh, it could have something to do with communications and collaborations. Okay. Uh, maybe you have something in the distance that you're going to be doing. And so you're wondering if you're going to get your return on your investment. The Empress here says, yes, I do genuinely see that you are going to be coming out of some type of financial um, worries that you have been in. If you can just stay grounded, this says, you know, don't overspend, you know, don't put a lot out there. You know, you want to just kind of hold back. There are some type of decisions that need to be made when it comes to your finances. Okay. Um, I do feel like Virgo for a lot of you, you are doing things alone. It's like, I feel like for a lot of you, you are needing to, um, you're needing to work with others. I feel like definitely your challenge is to collaborate with others. It's like you guys can do everything on your own, but here's what you're needing to learn is that other people are sent here for a reason. So I feel like there could be a couple of other people that you are needing to work with. You're needing to collaborate with. It could be people in your community. It could be family members, whatever this is. The fact that I've got the seven of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the queen of pentacles, the page of wands, I'm really getting kind of a, a, a financial work vibe here, Virgo. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you know, um, I feel like hmm, there's a lot here to do with strategy, being very strategic. There are some type of missed opportunities. Um, I do feel like, you know, if something isn't coming in, it is worrying you, you are needing uh, to balance out when it comes to your finances, maybe someone here uh, offering you some type of a handout as well. Um, maybe if you are having some type of financial issues, Virgo, there is uh, money going to be coming in. It just doesn't look like that. And I feel like it's almost like you're, you're skating through, almost getting like you're skating by. For some of you Virgos, I feel like you are moving whether that's moving homes, that's not going to be for everyone, but maybe you're thinking about moving homes. You're really looking at where you want to go next. For some of you Virgos, you do have a mother and a father figure that have very well crossed over. I am getting like a, um, a, a spiritual vibe from this. And I feel like they are guiding you and trying to help you. You're afraid of everything falling apart. There's a lot of conflict here when it comes to, wow, when I, wow, wow, wow. When I clarified the tower card, you got the five of swords, five of uh, cups, and the five of wands. So I feel like you're afraid of change, Virgo. You're afraid of everything falling apart. You're also afraid of like working with other people. A lot of major arcana here. You've got the moon and the sun. You've got the, and this is pretty awesome, actually, if you ask, if you ask me. You got the moon and the sun, the two illuminaries, okay? You've got the emperor and the empress. I'm loving this. The divine counterparts. You've got the judgment card. And you've got the tower. 
A lot of major arcanas in this reading, Virgo. And then you've got the moon here again. And you've got the empress here again between worlds. That's a number three. You're in this waiting period. It's like you're trying to figure out what you need to invest your time, your energy, your effort. Yep, there it is. I said it. it. It's all about investments. When I clarify the queen of pentacles, you get the eight of pentacles. This is work. Like, am I, you know, doing the right job? This is about collaborations. This is working with other people. It's like you always have your head down and you're always like working behind the scenes. But with the north node now in Taurus and with the with Uranus and Taurus, it's like you need to work with other people. All right. And then you've got the two of pentacles. So it's like you're weighing up for some of you. Again, you're balance, trying to balance your finances. You've gone from the eight to the three to the two. And then you've got the five of pentacles in the reverse, which means, you know, you're coming out of uh, some type of financial burden. OK, because you do have the six of pentacles right after that. The empress here tells me that you, you have enough. You're going to have enough. Or there is someone here, like I said, that is going to help you. Maybe you need to reach out to a mother or a father figure if your parents are still on this side of the grass. Why is the judgment? Wow. A lot of angel messages here. So the judgment here, okay, we've got an angel there. This is about a reconciliation. This is needing help but then we've got another angel here we've got the temperance card so it's saying temper yourself just wait everything's going to work out this is your challenge you've got the knight of cups so someone coming in with some type of a loving offer and the six of wands victory over triumph or triumph over victory excuse me there's a victory over triumph victory over triumph put in the comment box. The Empress card here though, there's, uh, yeah, she's got the Magician, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So there's going to be some type of collaboration between you and another person. For some of you, this is coming together. If this is a love story, um, you know, maybe you guys have been, you know, you've been waiting on someone to come in. And your divine counterpart, the emperor to the empress, that's your divine counterpart. The sun and the moon, the masculine and the feminine. You're in between worlds, though. You're getting ready to move into a world that you haven't experienced yet, Virgo. You have to have patience for that, whether that's career relationships, even another, you know, a level in finances. Spirit, please show me some advice for Virgo. What advice do you have for the Virgos? Okay. Work through your fears. The answers you need are coming. I said there's some type of communication. Mars and Venus being together in Capricorn says whatever it is that you're working on, whether that's love, whether that's children, whether that's uh, working with your pets, it could be passion projects, it could be any one of those things. Things are going to end up working out. You're just in a waiting period right now, but you're getting ready to move on to the other side. Prosperity lies ahead, Virgo. That's what this is talking about, North Node and Taurus. You do need to work with other people. Oh, wow, you got the tower here. So now you got the tower here twice. I don't know why that was turned over, but earning power, build, building a business, sound decisions. Career could be corporate job, power, or unstable position. Look, that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of being in an unstable position. You're afraid, of your st you're afraid that your stability is going to be rocked. But right now, it's because you're building this business. You're building an empire right now. You're just afraid of losing everything. But I'm not seeing that, Virgo. I'm definitely seeing where 
Um, you need to stay grounded. You're in a place of authority right now. I feel like, yes, you are needing to think about like where you're headed next when it comes to business. Um, I think about putting yourself in a higher um, place when it comes to your business. It's time. It's time. I feel like for a lot of you, you could be a mother or want to be a mother, okay? Or if you are coming into a relationship, this person could have children, even if those children are pets. If you're not in the childbearing age or want children. But you're manifesting here. You're manifesting the right partnerships. And I do feel like for a lot of you, you are teachers of some sort. For others of you, if you are dealing with a court situation, which I could very well see that too, you could be dealing with the children. And you're waiting on some type of a judgment call. I feel like you're dealing with a sneaky mom. <laughs> If you're a female Virgo who is dating or married to someone who has kids, I feel like this person, or it could be you, you're going through a court situation. Or you're waiting to see a court situation play itself out. I feel like the news that you're waiting for hasn't quite come in. So if you're dealing with, you know, like a child custody, I don't know why, but someone here is going to, I don't want to say you're going to lose custody, okay, because I don't feel like that. I don't feel like you're not going to get to see the child unless obviously you're toxic, but I don't see that. I'm not seeing that here. I see it's because you end up pregnant. That's only going to be for a couple of you, okay, or maybe even one of you. But just keep that in mind. There's something here about that. That's a side note. But for others of you, I feel like you're fertile with a lot of ideas. And I feel like because this between the worlds is here, I feel like once you make a decision, you move into this new area arena if that if you know what if you understand what I'm saying I feel like just know that prosperity does lie ahead and your earning possibilities are going to be bigger than you thought okay uh it is safe for you to love Virgo open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all for some of you you've put yourself up on a pedestal and just know that you know yeah you've dealt with deception in the past Someone is wearing a false self mask. Maybe that is someone in your life who, you know, maybe they're not showing their true colors and they're telling you that, you know, they don't want a relationship, but re they really do. Someone here is going to be traveling in to come and see you. Bottom of the deck, you're dealing with a soulmate. I feel that with the emperor and the empress here. Um, Virgos, you are dealing with a soulmate. For some of you, you are on some type of a honeymoon or some type of a trip, which is good for you. I feel like maybe your significant partner, if you are married, is pregnant. Congratulations. You could definitely be on a honeymoon. I really like this energy for you, Virgo. Um, also know that I am running a seminar on March 13th, uh, which is a Sunday from 3 to 5 Hawaii Standard Time. Um, it will be ran through Zoom. You can purchase a ticket for $35 on my website under Keiki's Book of Instructions. I will be sitting down talking to you about the fundamentals of understanding your child's astrological alignments, knowing what the conversations were that the planets were having at the time your child took their first breath is going to help you understand your child, whether you're a nanny, a teacher, um, or, you know, want to have children in the future. For some of you who are pregnant, this would be a really good course for or class for you to take. 
best $35 you're going to spend. Very educational. And it also pertains to you as well, because as well, you do have a natal chart too. Um, very important, really awesome seminar that is coming up. And I really hope you guys will meet me there. Anyway, you all, I love you all so much. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll chat with you again soon. Take